I have this Ford Super Duty here and it's slid. I have this Ford Super Duty here. I have the bed sitting back here. And this one got damaged. They had something heavy in the bed of the truck and it slid and crushed this front panel. It was a lot worse. I tried the other day to see how easily it would move. This is an aluminum bed though. And you could see it just started splitting wide open. And this is all still pushed in all across the bottom. So this is actually gonna get a new front panel, which is what I have right here. And then to replace that, you also gotta replace these two side pieces, which I have right here. And then I also have to repair the cab of this truck whenever everything moved. And this is all pushed in throughout this area. However, first, I'm gonna dive into this bed. I'll go ahead and get this all cut apart and start fitting my new panel up. And then when I get this done and the glue's drying, because this gets rivet bonded on, and while the glue dries on that, I will get into the repair work on the cab.
I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna let the glue dry on that. And then once that's dry, I will put these on. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and start repairing this back panel of this truck. Luckily, I have quite a bit of access in here, so it should straighten out pretty good. So I'm getting back onto this truck bed now. I have these side pieces I have to rivet bond on. Unfortunately, I made a small mistake. There's four rivets, one, two, three, four, that actually are supposed to go through this panel too. I didn't realize that until it's too late. So I let the glue dry and I'll just grind off the heads of those four rivets and punch them out and I'll have the holes and then I'll mark it from the back side and drill the hole into this piece. Kind of like I just did on this side. And then I will get these prepped out and get both of these rivet bonded on. 